Hello everybody, it is a cloudy day here in Tokyo and it is lunchtime again. Yeah, it's time to eat. I love meal times. That's probably like the highlight of my days. We have to go take a trip to the grocery store and so we thought we'd go eat there. Now you're probably thinking, lunch at the grocery store? What the hell is this guy talking about? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's kind of starting to rain. Kasa, you want an umbrella? We have to go back? All right, let's go back. <laughs> yeah, Satoshi has this irrational fear of the rain melting him or something. So it's not really raining, it's just like a light drizzle. But I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, now we got our umbrella. We can go now. There is one question that people ask me a lot. They ask me, where are all the grocery stores? And my answer is, they are all located in residential areas, not in the middle of Shinjuku or Shibuya or Ginza. I mean, you know, most people don't shop there. Most people go to those places for entertainment or dining or going to see the movies. Just in this neighborhood, we have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight supermarkets. No, nine supermarkets. We have nine supermarkets in this neighborhood. Isn't that amazing? So we're going to this grocery store called Co-op and it's located about five minute walk from where we live and so we're just walking through this very typical Japanese residential area. I have one piece of hair sticking out today. Check out these uh, Japanese houses. I want to show you guys how small the houses in Japan are. Of course, there are bigger houses if you go to the countryside. But in Tokyo, mostly they are pretty small. But they're nice and they're usually two or three stories. Last month, I visited my uncle's house. His house is a... I think it was a three-story house with a garage. And he actually has an elevator installed in his house because uh, his wife has arthritis. So I think that was nice and that was actually pretty cool. All right, we're a couple of blocks away from the grocery store. Oh, cute flowers, nice flowers. I love orange and yellow. They're so like, so much energy. They give off a lot of energy, I think. Very energizing colors, don't you think? Okay, we're gonna cross the street. Don't forget to watch for cars. And, ooh, look, hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. I think I mentioned this before in another video, but um, the only thing I like about the rainy season are the hydrangeas. However, having said that, I do know that water is necessary for life, so I try to be grateful for that. Um, even though the rain just gets me really down, I try to be grateful because without water, well, we wouldn't be able to survive, right? Okay, we're at the supermarket. Here it is, Co-op. You'll find Co-op all over the city, usually in residential areas, like I mentioned before. It's a pretty nice grocery store with good selection. They also have a small selection of organic vegetables. So I like this store. At the entrance of most supermarkets, you'll find these bins here, and these are for recyc recycling your bottles and stuff and here we have a machine that will actually credit your suica card which you can use for uh, trains and stuff um, with um, some cash if you come here and recycle your your plastic bottles like we are doing here yeah we come here about twice a week um, we accumulate a lot of plastic bottles unfortunately so um, yeah we come here twice a week this tells you how many bottles 
have gone inside. And so far we have uh, how many? 13? 14? <laughs> and sometimes it'll have that error uh, message, which means your bottle is filled with some kind of liquid. So you just gotta make sure that there is no liquid inside the bottles. Alright, how many more bottles do we have? Uh, quite a lot. And I think... I think we're almost done. Alright, let's go shopping for some lunch as well as some groceries for the house. And we're gonna go to the cafe downstairs. And here we are in the cafe. Anyone can use this cafe. Um, as long as you buy something to eat or drink at the supermarket. They have your vending machine for hot drinks as well as some soup. I'm pretty sure Satoshi's going to get the soup. Yep, I was right. Yeah, I think this is the uh, onion consomme soup. Actually, onion soup is one of Satoshi's favorite soup. So if there's a choice between onion soup and coffee, it's usually onion soup. <laughs> okay, they also have a microwave oven for you to use to warm up your food that you bought in the supermarket. And this is these are the directions, but um, it's okay. If you can't read Japanese, just press that red button. I think it should be okay. Okay, so this is Satoshi's bento, the box lunch. And it's quite reasonable. It's 3.98 yen, which is approximately $3.50 in US dollars. And this is a yakitori donburi, which are grilled chicken. I think there's grilled chicken, there's grilled ground chicken, and uh, there's a boiled egg, all on top of rice. And the yakitori is simmered in this really nice, uh, sort of like a teriyaki sauce. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Well, we're gonna see if it actually tastes good. And this is my lunch, guys. This is the Inari Zushi and Soba set for 398 yen. Same price as the other one. And I also got this for the side. This is Gobo, which is burdock. And I got green tea for my drink. All right, first let's pour the soup packet, the soup into the, this container and then we also have this packet of nori oh i forgot we also have this packet of ice water and so what do you do with this ice water you actually pour it over your noodles and the reason why is because because your noodles have been sitting in this container for a while they get stuck together so this actually helps loosen up the noodles and make it tastier and easier to eat okay now we can add that topping of nori right on top of the noodles and then we're almost ready to eat I'm so hungry okay that is the wasabi the packet of wasabi I'm just gonna place it right there and then I'm gonna dig in Itadakimasu! Mm. 
これを買おうと思ったうんでもまだこっちにしたこれね照り焼きこれ食べて。Okie dokie, so after lunch, we're just going to head back home. Check out the hydrangeas! I know I keep mentioning the hydrangeas, but they're so beautiful. I love them. They add so much color to the gray cityscape of Tokyo, you know, especially during the rainy season because the sky's all gray. Now, I don't know why, but I think these three houses here, all in a row, they kind of remind me of. Italian, I don't know, like they, they, they look Italian to me. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, and, and those three houses over there,、um, they're nice too. By the way, these houses are all actual houses, they're not townhouses, they're not connected together, although they do look connected, and that's their garages on the first floor. Like I said, the houses are pretty small here. Of course, you can find bigger houses in the countryside. And there are big houses in Tokyo as well. They're just very expensive.、Uh, the buildings on the right side and my left side, they are apartment buildings. And FYI, this is the same place that I take Justin for his walks. Oh, well, we're home and lunch was so so. It was just so so, you know.、Um, I don't know, that, that supermarket. They have to improve. I, I think they have to improve just a little bit on their taste.、Um, we have other supermarkets here like Summit and Marusho, and、um, what is the other one called? Sakagami, which has the best bentos, by the way, in our neighborhood though, because it's very difficult to find the Sakagami supermarket outside of residential areas. Also, Summit is very difficult as well.、Um, but they have, but both of those stores have really good bentos. They are a little pricier, but even having said that, they are like in the $4, $5 range. So, I mean, can't really complain. <laughs> can't really complain, right? All right, guys, back to editing videos. See you guys next time. Bye.